Hey everybody, it's August 24th, about 2.30 in the afternoon, and of course, you know, as usual, I got up at like, like 7 o'clock this morning to come out here and get the bee yard taken care of, and all, you know, the 19 things got in the way, and now I'm out here at the, the hottest part of the day. But what am I going to do today? I got one, two, three nukes that I need to check. I got a queenless hive that I need to check. And basically I need to do like a full inspection of my bee yard, but I got everything on Apivar right now. So the Apivar comes off next week. So I figured when I do the Apivar, that's when I'll do the full inspection. Um, for now, I just want to look at my nukes and and my queen is hive. I'm really hoping this this these these queens have made it. As of last week, they did not. <clears throat> and we're really getting to that point in the year where, you know, it's hard for the, the queens to mate. Um, if they haven't done it by now, they probably might not. Luckily for me, like I don't have a big dragonfly problem like I did last year. I only see like one or two of them out there. Normally, well last year at this time, this place was just, it was just flooded with dragonflies. It's hot out. <laughs> for Pennsylvania, it's hot out. And so, uh, let me get suited up because the bees are, the bees are flying. Taking a little bit of a chance being out here. Get, I don't really want to get stung in the face. And, uh, let's get busy. So, entering the apiary, I'm already not liking what I'm seeing. Uh, because, or what I'm hearing is what I should say, because this, this hive right here, this was one of my damaris, and it went queenless on me, and, you know, it, there's a good hum coming out of there, and I know that they requeened themselves. A couple weeks ago, I, there, there was larvae in it, and actually a lot of brood, but there's some humming going on coming from out of that hive, and it could just be that they're they're uh venting the hive and that one's the same thing but you know the, the bees they're they're clustering on the outside of the hive so that could be the issue but this one right here is the one that went that swarmed on me then it went queenless and i've not been able to get this hive this queen mated all summer i worked on it and it just like you know i couldn't get it mated and now it's just roaring away like as if there's it's queenless so I don't know what I'm going to do at this point. It's already the end of August, so if there's no queen in here, I'll probably just have to um, integrate this hive in with some other hives, which I hate to do. But, you know, it's better than just losing the bees altogether. So, I'm going to start with this hive, see what's going on. Yeah, those bees are making a lot of noise. I can see down in there, there's not much of a bee population in there at all. I'm betting that this hive is totally queenless. So far, there's a lot of a lot of uh, honey, pollen, and nectar, but no sign of larvae, no sign of a queen. Okay, I see some eggs in there, but I'm not so sure if they're if they're queen eggs or if it's a laying worker situation. Sometimes old eyes require. A little bit more of magnification. Let me see what I can see here. Let me see what I can see. I believe I might have a mated queen here. This looks good. See if I can find her. Okay, I don't see a queen anywhere, at least not on this frame. Doesn't mean she's not there though. Okay, so I'm cautiously optimistic that there is a queen in here, a laying queen. It could be a laying worker, because the bees don't always follow the rules. You know, just because just because there aren't five five eggs in a cell, it doesn't mean that it can't be a, a laying worker. But I think it's a laying, I think that it's a mated queen. I think she's laying. There's just a small patch that I can see up on top, but it's it's a uniform patch of 
eggs and larvae. There's no sense in digging in further down below. Just kind of, I'm just gonna let this play out. And maybe when I when I take the apivar strips out, when I remove them, I'll do a deeper dive. But for now, I'm I'm optimistic on on this hive. Hey, this is another split that I did, and on August 11th, there was no brood, no larvae, no eggs, no nothing. So uh, we're gonna check it, see what's going on. Hopefully, hopefully there's something in there because this is gonna be a really it could be a really nice hive. Comes from one of my best best hives. It's a very calm, calm bee, and a good honey producer. Give them a little bit of smoke, let them know I'm coming. I gave them some sugar water two weeks ago and they took that right down. This, this particular hive, after I did the split, they made themselves five queen cells. And I know that at one point, there had to have been a queen in here. I, you know, the question is, did she get mated? I'm seeing drone brood. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to stand over here. There's some sunlight in there so you can see it, but I dug this larvae out with a toothpick, and what came out was two larvae. So from what I'm seeing in this hive, see that? There's a larvae on the end of my toothpick. Get over there. <laughs> and then there's one right there. So that's kind of disappointing. So that 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 actually is a pretty good indication that this is a laying worker it doesn't always mean it's a laying worker because i've seen queen new queens when they start laying a lot of times they'll um they'll lay three or four eggs in a in a cell until they kind of get get their systems worked out um but what i'm seeing though i am seeing i am seeing some some eggs in here that look good you know just like one cell with one egg um, but it's pretty spotty too, so that that's an indication. And plus, I just dug two two larvae out of the same same cell, so it's it's kind of leaning towards laying worker. Doesn't mean that it is laying worker, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give this hive another week to see see what it happens with it. Then uh, then I'll treat it as a laying worker situation next week if that's what the situation is. Hopefully, it's not a laying worker. But anyway. That's where I'm at with this hive. Okay, this hive right here is the same situation as the last one. I split this on July 28th, and by August 11th, there still was no sign of a queen. Um, there were queen cells in there, so I know like at one point there was a queen, but we're gonna find out right now if she's mated, or if there's a laying worker, or what the situation is. They took the syrup down. Lots and lots of pollen. Lots and lots of brood. This whole frame has brood capped. So I'm going to say that this one's doing pretty well. I can see a lot of uh, larvae in there, some eggs. I don't see anything suspicious. Although I don't see a queen.
Okay, I have not seen the queen. She's being very elusive, but I'm like 99% convinced there's a queen in here. There's three, maybe like three and a half frames completely laid up with uh, brood and eggs. And um, it's very uniform and a very, very nice pattern. Uh, it is, there's hardly any nectar or pollen in here, so I am going to give them some feed. And uh, hopefully this works out. It's looking really good so far. And look how gentle these bees are. This is like one of my gentlest hives this one right here and it's a really good honey producer so I'm pretty excited about this this could be like one of my big producers for next year okay so I'm gonna give the bees a small sliver of pollen patty because there's hardly any pollen in here they don't have a big workforce they got a lot of work to do so over the next two months September and October my job would be to just build these bees up but this just a small piece of um, pollen patty so that we don't get a bunch of hive beetles in there just a little bit of syrup, so I don't drown my bees. Now this nuke is the same thing as the other ones. On 728 I did this split, and on August 11th there still wasn't a laying queen, so again we're going to take a peek and hopefully I find some, some brood in there. Really not much going on in this in this hive. <laughs> they took down all the syrup though. Had was feeding them syrup. Tiny little patch of brood, capped brood, and the rest of it's all just larvae. It's uncapped brood. That's looking real nice. And there's some capped brood on this side over here in this frame. So... That satisfies me. I don't need to dig around in here anymore. I'm going to give these bees, these bees need, they have a lot of growing up to do before winter. So I'm going to give them some pollen and pollen patty actually and some sugar syrup. They don't have much of a workforce at all. So I need to help them out. Put that pollen patty in and those bees went straight for it. It'll probably be gone in a couple days. Well that's it for me. That mission's accomplished. So anyway what I did, this hive here was the one that I was that was so promising during the uh the honey flow and then it swarmed on me and then i had all summer long i could not get this thing uh, requeened and then finally though it looks like it's requeened so and it's a laying so um i'm like 99 percent sure that it's got a queen a laying queen in it so i'm optimistic about that uh let's see this split right here this one is laying, so that's that's nice, but she need, it needs a lot of work. I need to really build this one up over the next two months. This one right here is laying, so that's excellent. That's a really nice hive, too. Really gentle bees, and they're good honey producers. So what I'm trying to do is like like uh, breed off of my or split off of my my obviously like my good calm hives, my good honey producers. This one here though is. I think it's a possible laying worker, um, so I'm going to check this again next weekend. Next weekend I'm pulling all my, my ap apivar uh, strips, so that'll give me a good chance to even look, you know, look at this again. And then next weekend I'll actually do like a full complete uh, inspection of all the, all the hives that I didn't get this year. Um, these bees right here, th this, this hive has a really good population. You can see the, the bees are bearding 
and this one as well. And these two hives were actually my rolling damari hives last uh, summer, and they requeened themselves. And they requeened themselves the year before that. So I got nothing from these hives other than maybe the com combined I might have had 30 pounds of honey from these two damari, rolling damari hives. And I don't know about the rolling damari. I'm not knocking it for everybody. I'm just, I'm not saying it doesn't work, but it doesn't work for me. I don't know. There could be a real good chance that I'm doing something wrong, but I just feel like like the method of like the rolling damari and the shaking the bees and getting them into the into the hive, the colony every week or every 10 days or whatever, or even every two weeks. I just think it's too hard on the bees, and I I think it's, it stresses the bees too much. So I think what I'm going to do this year, I think the rolling damari for me is it's in the history books. I'm not going to be using it anymore, but I am thinking about trying that um, the traditional damari where you just put down a an empty box, put a queen in there, some larvae and, and empty frames and, and get, you know, basically that buys her 30 days, give or take, of um, basically swarm prevention. My bees are on a goldenrod. I have a feeling that we had a flow, at least in my part of Pennsylvania, we had a flow all summer. Because it just, the, the bees were really, once I got, I had a real bad, real cranky nuke that I, it took me forever to to get that thing under control but once i got that under control my bees are so gentle and they still are they're not they're not any aggressive at all and usually this time of year our grass is like a it's usually like a tundra but we've been getting some pretty steady rain all summer we had a few weeks where it was it got kind of dry but i think that there there's been a flow a trickle of a flow anyway enough to keep the bees happy the fence is getting a little bit rough need to do some work on a fence this fall. Everything here needs replaced. I came out here one day last week and two of the strands on the fence were down. The fence was shorting out and I think something hit it, maybe a deer. Right here is where it Basically, it was all busted up right in here. When those deer hit this fence, anywhere where there's a kink in the fence or any kind of a nick or anything, it, it'll break real fast. I don't know how fast the deer is hitting this to break it, but um, can't can't be good for the deer either. But my fence will be replaced. But anyway, I, I didn't achieve my, my uh, honey harvest goals this year. I didn't even come close to that. But, you know, that's okay because I went on the upside... I did I did branch out to 16 hives and that was my that was my goal it's provided everything provided all these nukes and every you know they all survive but I think they will I got two months to build everything up so anyway I'm Darren I'm the Pennsylvania beekeeper and I will see you next time